All these fruit, fruit's good for us. We've got vitamin A. Vitamin A, of course, which is good for... Uh, good, yes. <laughs> vitamin B, which we all know, is very good for... Um, scurvy, scurvy. <laughs> vitamin C is good for scurvy, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and there's a lot of scurvy around these days. <laughs> People find I can't come into work, got scurvy. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, I live on a houseboat, and, uh... <laughs> yeah, frothing at the mouth. Yeah, the old <laughs> Captain Cook problem there. Um, there's vitamin D, which, again, is good for... Uh, <laughs> vitamin E, which is good for skin. And then that's it. No more vitamins. The whole vitamin naming committee, they're going, ladies and gentlemen, vitamin F. Suggestions? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm off down a boozer. <laughs> Azerbaijan. And all these people made food, like Granny Smith. Granny Smith made apples. Who was this woman, Granny Smith? Yeah. Oh, my name is Mrs. Smith. I've made apples out of bread and dripping, a bit of green paint, and, and uh, corrugated iron. I'm going, no, these are horrible, these apples. Mrs. Smith, go away, Mrs. Smith. Go away until your daughter has a baby. Oh. <laughs> shag, daughter, shag. A marketing idea, shag for babies. <laughs> hey, my daughter's had a baby, I'm Granny Smith now. Come in, Granny Smith. <laughs> you wonderful idea, you. Come in with your shiny apples. Or a friend with me, I'm Mr. Delicious. He's bought apples. He's gold Delicious. Hey, come in, gold. But um, King Edward, abdicated the throne, took up potato making. There we go. <laughs> Mrs. Simpson, uh, jewelry. And, uh, and there's Hitler as well. He's, to hang out together, and Jeff Broccoli, the Broccoli family. <laughs> there are, there's only about three. <laughs> apples are great. Apples are user-friendly. You just, big, hardy, you grab them and you go, ar, 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 and then you start to eat them. And <laughs> always do the dog impression first. <laughs> and when you get into the, when you get close to the pips at the, at the in the middle, you go, Ugh! and you throw it away in case you swallow a pip and a tree comes out your head. Yeah? <laughs> We know this to be true. <laughs> and oranges, there's a big war. I don't know about you know, there's a, there's a sort of internal war going on between the big old fashioned oranges, big fuck off, uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, Stalinist, big fuck, uh, uh, kind of oranges. <laughs> and the new baby Satsuma, Manolo, Kumquat, Benunda, Dirda, Chincha, MG, Satsuma, he kind of, way, way. <laughs> Big fight going on there, because to eat a satsuma is a piece of piss. You just go flump, and then flump, and flump. <laughs> and you break off these one by one, don't you? And you, you've got so much, you go, Aah! and then there's people in the room, you go, go on! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like a very cheap round, isn't it? Go on! <laughs> satsuma! For, oh, oh. And if you're that other person in the room, you go, no, no, oh, all right, yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah. So satsumas are great. Eat them piece of piss. But you can't do it with an orange. Okay? Do you want a bit of orange? Have you got... I've got... I've got how I just... <laughs> can't fucking get in... Because it's in, inside an orange. It's like the film Das Boot in there. <laughs> with Jürgen Proch now going, Don't let them get in to the orange! <laughs> Most important. Or the juice will get out and will not be good. <laughs> so breaking in with finger death charges. Let the peel come off only in small chunks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So breaking in, push all the pips into bits they wouldn't expect. That'll be Because <laughs> it is, never chat someone up eating an orange. <laughs> You're very nice. <laughs> never chat someone up who speaks like that, anyway. So oranges, oranges can fuck off, that's what I say. <laughs> and pears can fuck off too, because they're gorgeous little beasts, but they're ripe for half an hour. <laughs> and you're never there, they're like a rock or they're mush. <laughs> in a supermarket, people hammering in nails. <laughs> so just put these shelves up, mate, then you can have the pear. <laughs> really, because you do do that squeezy, squeezy thing on fruit, where you go in and go, oh, squeezy, oh. It's a test squeezy thing that you've seen French chefs do on television. Oh, squeezy. Oh. But I have no frame of reference, so I'm going, oh. Is that good? Um, 
I'm squeezing about this much. Is that good squeezing? <laughs> it's a, that's an expert thing, isn't it? You know, you see them go, oh, you know this one. They don't even look at it. They just, you go, Pfft. oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's got a hole in it. I'm not really. <laughs> I'll just put it on the end of a broom. Yeah, it's, a, it's the manager. <laughs> um, yeah, so fuck pears, but pears, pears are really, just, you know, like a rock. So you think, I'll take them home and they'll ripen up. But you put them in a bowl at home and they sit there going, no, no, <laughs> don't ripen yet, don't ripen yet. Wait till he goes out of the room. <laughs> ripen now, now, now. <laughs> and you come back in, you go, I'll just have one of those. <laughs> Hey, these pears are dead. These are dead pears, man. Hey, what happened, guys? They all go. Like... <laughs> and then there's banana skins as well. There's bananas in their skins. There's all this sort of slipping on a banana skin hilarity that's been happening for many years. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never actually, in my life, ever seen anyone actually slip on a banana skin in reality. I've never seen documentary footage of anyone slipping on a banana skin. <laughs> I've heard of stories. Oh, yes. People have told me stories. The Nazis did propaganda. <laughs> so all this fruit's there. And we've got South African fruit we could have now, which, without going, oh, the guilt. And, um, <laughs> and star fruit, which are from Mars. <laughs> so it's great. So you get all this fruit, and you get a selection, you take it home, you arrange it in a bowl, and then you watch it rot. <laughs> You never eat it, really. <laughs> Occasionally, you go up to it and go, ah, I don't think I will. <laughs> Ooh, Mars bar, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, I'm full up now. And they all rot from the bottom up. They go, ugh, ugh, ugh. Except the oranges that sit at the back going, no. Nope. <laughs> you chuck all the rest of the way, the oranges sit at the back. For months, it sits there. in a kind of Stalinist kind of way. So, yeah, and there's also labels in supermarkets. You've got labels on the foodstuffs now, so you can tell, it says four grams of protein. You go, ah, <laughs> is that good? <laughs> is that far too little protein? Is it you're gonna die of protein shortage or are you gonna overdose on it? 0 0.02 a milligram of sodium. Now, sodium explodes in water. And do I need 0 0.02 a milligram of that? <laughs> But calcium, can you overdose on calcium? Can you go? <laughs> well, I think there's too much calcium in your diet. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are you eating a lot of chalk salad? Yeah. 